Josiah. Just say the N word, I'm pretty sure he'll hear it. Of course, but. Does he ever, like, leave? Does he Does he ever go offline of this? Uh, you'll say the T-slur, but you won't say the N-word. SMH my head. Be consistent. I always say nigga. I never, I ne <laughs> Are I never... you black? <laughs> no, but I still Bro, say it. Bro, what the fuck? You can't... Don't say it! <laughs> and what have I retained to? I, I told you! I told you it was! <laughs> Backwards packages, litter tabletops gone off that shit. My eyes lower than your stable stock. Hello, everyone. Before I see me today to do this video, this video right here dropped in the middle of my school day. And since you no, know, I had some fucking way to be alone in a room, I watched it on like one of the school computers that I use. <laughs> and I need to say this this video is cringe, obviously. If you watched it, this video is cringe, but there is something that I don't think people are actually taking into consideration when watching this video. One, is his video actually authentic onto what he is saying? There's some part of me that says, maybe it is. Maybe it is. But there's this huge other part saying, dog, he is getting Iraq hostaged in this motherfucker. Okay? His wife, Nisa. Is telling him in his ear like, yeah, yeah, you should apologize for that. Why? Why did you do that? In the video, in the fucking video throughout, he uses this type of way of speaking that resembles somebody in therapy. I am responsible for creating a lot of hurtful and damaging content on this channel. And they were all funny. Not edgy. I don't think they, they, you know, some of these videos were edgy. I think they were just outright cruel. How? Wh what? What? The content I'm talking about specifically are content cop videos and videos where I was uh, just generally criticizing people for very lackluster reasons. Even the one with Leafy and Keemstar? I was morally grandstanding and acting as if I am any better than any of these people that I was making content cop videos on, and I'm not. I'm a human. I'm a real human who makes mistakes. You know, I I ended up pivoting it. If I ever end up like this, I, please you know, fucking I end me, bad bro. About it, like innately. A very Aussie. big thing that has sort of altered my view on all of this is just the amount of hate and harassment my wife Anissa has received over the years. Uh, she's had to deal with it from the beginning of our relationship. Then why did you go for an OnlyFans wife then? What the fuck? Unless you didn't know about it or it was just like popped into the middle of it. I don't... Why? <laughs> why? Why? Why did you stick with that? That's the main source of all those harassments, okay? It was easy for me to identify them struggling when they were outside of my body. But the antisocial basement dwelling incel that was inside here... <sighs> oh my god, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. What the fuck? Uh, I, I couldn't acknowledge that. I couldn't recognize that. So I needed the mirror to be held up to me. In closing, I want to say that I have always thought that I was an empathetic person. Because I thought, well, I get angry. I get sad. Of course I got empathy. Seems easy, right? Empathy? I definitely have that. I wouldn't be surprised if he went to therapy at one point or another. But is what he's saying actually his words coming out of his gut to heart to mind and throughout his mouth? Probably most likely not. There's a good chance that he's reading a script off screen and he's doing it very well to seem so natural to the masses that even maybe somebody as me is falling for it all and maybe this is like a huge elaborate troll or on the other side it is genuine growth but here's the thing though I hate like it's not growth that I despise growth is inevitable but the thing is with growth it depends on what is growing of course you don't want a cancer tumor to grow on your body. You're gonna fucking die from that. You don't want that shit to grow. 
And this could be said for another thing as with progress. You know, you don't want cancer to go from stage 1 to stage 5 in such a short amount of time. You're gonna fucking die from that shit. Or just any disease at that matter if, the, if it has stages and all that stuff. But with the changes that he is making, I don't see a good trajectory with this. I am not a... At least not yet. I'm not a fortune teller or like a prophet of some kind that can tell the future. But to my best guess on what will happen in the next five years with this. As I said earlier in the last video, which I was actually kind of surprised that I got a lot, like half a thousand views. I don't know if this video will get more than a thousand views, but you know, it's worth a try for this one. There's the main point I did in the previous video with divorce. I don't know what will happen. I don't know what will cause it, but I know something will happen which will you know snowball into something like that but i want to preface this again as i did in the previous video i don't wish it i don't wish it that's bad to wish it okay i don't wish ill but that's just what i i just feel right now it's just like something's gonna happen that's gonna probably and this is the other thing too i'm not wishing for this but it's probably going to switch him back on because i know and i should have said this in the previous one I know that there is something in the back of his head that the guy, the race, the quote unquote racist, bigoted type of eye dubs that's in the back of his head saying like, no, oh no, this is bullshit and all that stuff. All this, all these slurs and all that stuff. But the outward thing that he's appearing on YouTube is, yeah, guys, I'm sorry to Tana Mongu, bitch. Uh, for like, okay, to be fair though, with the Tana Manju stuff, it was weird to th you know thinking about it, but at the same time though, it's just like you said the hard R, it was pretty funny, and also, other thing too, other thing too, it's cancer because why the fuck would you apologize to Tana? Because in the video, I watched it like right before recording it, you were right. In the explanation that you did in the entire video and it was to the point where she actually agreed with you on it <laughs> agree with you on it and the thing is with this whole like I changed I matured it's cope it's cope I don't buy it that you changed yeah you changed in what you've done but I don't think in the mind it's like you, don't pro you probably didn't change bullshit because I don't think they mean the change as in like guys I I don't think he actually genuinely thinks that what he has done is bad he has gone so far to actually unlist all of his content cops which he regrets making and <laughs> and the thing is and the funny thing is is that he regrets making them and regrets you know having all the harassment towards all the people but he still hates the people <laughs> that he has, so at least that's something. <laughs> so three million people subscribe to you and you openly said the N-word and retard? Kill yourself! <laughs> dude, 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 why was Tana so much more mature why? As, as an 18-year-old child? <laughs> like, 30-year-old 30, 30 Ian couldn't- Remember, this guy's a sad fucking incel loser in this time period. This is when Idubs was depressed back then, guys. Alright, now? Not depressed. He's cool. He's awesome. I mean, I've He's heard secure. rumors that that was kind of true. Really? No, I don't believe that shit. Dude, you didn't hear the rumor that he just gets- he got, like, no pussy, this was, like, his first girlfriend, he was, like, a sad, depressed little well, loser? That, like, that, that's that, what I heard. Like, when he was making sense. all the GigaChad content cop videos on everybody. But the content was, was an escape from his, like, reality there, right? And he was happy when he was making it. All I'm telling you is, I've been t saying Tana Mojo is awesome for years, bro. So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, okay, buddy. So we're in fighting form when we go visit by the way, guess who's filming this? Anissa. True, Scott Schaefer. Yo, W. Scott Schaefer in chat. Anissa said this video was her idea. That is true. And recently she said that. For every black boy that cried at this, there is a equally an amount of white boys that loved this. All right, so the, if you look at, like, the hatred that was spread in the world from this clip, actually the positive weighs it out, so it's Bro, fine. All right? Wasn't, wasn't Anissa filming this? Yes, Anissa was the camera person. <laughs> Wait, where's Anissa's apology, bro? She didn't she enable this bigotry? You know, Keemstar brought that up. Anissa never apologized. Yeah. Hashtag Anissa apologized. Yeah. Well, Keem's tweet read like 
<laughs> Dude, why is Idub's apology uh, apologizing? Anissa told him to say it. Well, yeah, but, he, but, he, but he did, you know. It's... Dude, Anissa is such. Anissa is more, even more dude, evil. Dude, this. Than we dude, think. he wanted to have the Geneva Convention trials to discuss the slur usage. She I'd be like, well, I, well, actually, I was just following orders. This was Anissa. Oh, dude, honor. she manipulated Ian. <laughs> To fucking do this and then pulled the rug under him and was like, now you have to be woke and apologize. She set him up. It was a two-way setup. She's actually even more evil than we thought. This Jesus is crazy. Christ. But the thing is, there's two possibilities going back with this, you know, projection. It's either that this is the greatest telltale sign of the acceleration of the downward spiral that he's been on for the past few years. There's this trend with other edgy 2016 youtubers besides leafy leafy's on fucking rumble right now he's not on youtube he's been banned off of youtube i think twitch as well he was banned on twitter but got back because of elon he's still on instagram but i don't know about that a trend with other 2016 youtubers that um and i think other people would have this a fair view where it's like okay they're maturing they're growing the change yeah 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 that's fair enough but there's also like people who are way older than him, who uh, than them, that are probably as more "quote unquote" immature as some of these people would like to say. And I think the reason why people would like cling on to this, you know, as to quote Carter, a grandstanding, a moral grandstanding on this type of thing is, I don't think they've actually. I think they've they thought. That they matured, but the thing that they are being fed by, the information that they're seeing as time goes on, is to say, do not enjoy actual, like, unadulterated, unabashed, uncensored, unfiltered, raw humor. Something that comes from the gut itself. The gut. The gut. It's the second brain that actually makes you think, you know, I don't, I don't think I should be in this situation, or... Um, that is actually like, you know, your first instinct. Obviously, of course, not all instincts are going to be correct initially, of course. But there's a reason why gut feeling is a saying. It's the second brain. But we have this editing system in ourselves. And this is borrowing from Patrice O'Neill. It goes from the gut to the heart. You know, like, oh, I don't know if they were like this, you know. I don't know how they will feel or something like that. And then it goes up to the brain where you're about to deploy it through your mouth, through like these sound waves, these frequencies. And you try to work out logically, reasonably on how to say it, the articulation. Now, of course, of course, knowing on how to say things like coming straight from the gut but you need to actually like say it but not want to uh, do or have any bad outcomes of it basically walking around eggshells and all that stuff that's a good skill to have but I think the thing that Patrice O'Neill I'm gonna get back on topic with items but, but Patrice O'Neill is to have both the heart the brain and the gut Feeling and the thought comes straight from the gut to the mouth, and that's what we get called truth. But the other, the other possibility is that this is genuine reformation. But, but through it, it is just doused with so much virtue signaling. I don't think, and I'll say this again. I don't know if he will ever see this video. If he does, fight me on it. I don't know. But this is probably either virtue signaling because he sees the times. But also, it's not his actual thoughts. It's not his thoughts. Which reminds me at, which reminds me at this one point in the video, he said that the reason why he went to go boxing was because of his wife. I don't think that's a good enough example to say that everything that he's saying in that in this video is coming straight from his wife i know i'm contradicting but it could be the start or it could just be in the middle and we haven't 
seen the start. I am running ads on this video oh. and uh, any revenue uh, generated from this video, I'm going to match and donate to an organization that you know would have been particularly affected by the type of rhetoric that I've been spewing on this channel. What? What's the charity? Here are some charities that I'm supporting. Mental health. Ugh, no way. Trans Women of Color Collective? No way! Bro, bro. He blew up making jokes saying, he got freaking apologizes and then gives money to freaking bro how the fuck how the fuck no way this has to be a troll how do you go with full sort i stand with trans women bro